there guys, welcome back to another episode of the farming series, this is the fourth part um, and yeah I'm really excited to be doing another part of this, I'm really enjoying this so far so I wanted to get straight into it, um, today I'm going to be trying to buy a bit, a bit of land basically, I really wanted to have a farmer's market and I've got a mod to do this but I thought this would be like quite interesting to get some more money um, going for the farm because we've kind of started on like last episode we started on the kitchen and like I mean it's not very like there's not much going on it's just a little kitchen but obviously we've got this whole house to renovate and we're gonna need uh, a lot more money so she's actually got um, chicken coop fever which is like foul flu which is from the chicken coop um, that's fr from a mod by the way like in case you didn't realize but that is from a mod um, but yeah, so the first thing, like before I start anything else, I was going to try and do is I'm going to try and buy um, this piece of land that I've set up to be a kind of like a business. But hang on, can we not use the internet? Oh yeah, I can't even use my phone. So maybe we're going to have to travel to a... Um, like a pub or something, I suppose, to use the internet there. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, excuse this world, by the way. I haven't had a chance to kind of like renovate any of Brindleton Bay yet. So there's just the farm that I've done, but like some of the things are a little bit empty. So if we go to this, okay, this is the bar. If we go to the bar, hopefully we'll be able to pick up some internet. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to buy just um, a piece of land, which is going to be um, a cheap piece of land, a small piece of land, and then if I've got enough money I can place some of the stores on there um, so that we can sell um, some of the items there and I think you get more money from doing that so let's see if that works so that, so she's yeah she's actually ill I feel bad okay so the internet is working so we can actually buy the retail store from um, from here um, hopefully that will that'll work um, it, it's actually gonna be uh, where is it Binton Bay Okay, um, this one. So this is uh, 1,695 some audience. I think she's got about 2,200. So this is the one we're gonna buy, um, and it's got a little, <laughs> it's got a cash register on it because I think you have to have a cash register to buy um, things as residential lots. So that's what I've done, um, and then when I get there, I'm gonna set it up as. Um, Hopefully, like I said, a farmer's market. Here we go. So this is the this is a lot. Transfer funds to your business. If I just put um, all of the household funds in to the business, <laughs> can I do that? I can't. Hang on. I'm a bit confused. <laughs> okay, let's transfer all the funds across into the business, and then hang on. Yeah, okay, so these are the stores that, that um they're by Brazen Low Lotus. I'll put the um uh, the link to them in the description, but there's like loads and loads of shades that you can have. So this is what they look like. Um they're just kind of um ones for like they're for, for each thing, for each season. And I kind of want to think for in spring because that's like my first instinct to think that we're in spring. Um, so I'm just going to buy the spring one. Uh, that's 350 smallions. You can also sell like flowers and stuff in your business, but um, I don't think you can place flowers on these. You can just place them on the displays like this. Um, and kind of... I don't know whether I want to do that yet, actually. I don't think I've got any flowers to sell. Um, I, might, I might just buy one. Okay. So we've used <laughs> I've used all my money to do that. Um, so do I have anything in my inventory to sell? No, this wasn't this wasn't thought through very well. Um, let me see if there's any flowers about that I can just demonstrate. Um, oh, okay. I, I love this cat. I love this cat. Mare whiskers. He's always about and he's so cute. Um, so if I go back to maybe. Ooh, I might go back to the farm just very quickly and then grab some stuff and then come back in here.
Okay, so I harvested um, the crops that she's currently got. I mean, she's got a beekeeper suit still on because I just did the bees and stuff while I was there. Because she's actually got this, like, this flu, which makes it a little bit difficult. Um, you can turn it off if you decide to download the chicken keeps, but I actually didn't realise what it was. And I've kept it on. I'm just going to change her outfit because <laughs> the beekeeper outfit just looks so funny. Okay, so this is obviously um, the stall that you can use. So all you got to do is drag them on like this. Um, I mean... It's just like aesthetically really that the um the way that it's presented, if that makes sense, like the way that all this is there, that's like just for aesthetics, I suppose you could say. Um I haven't really got like enough space, I don't think, for all this stuff, but I can like put them all on at the top of the table. <laughs> um and then like underneath as well you can put the, all the things. I've got forty something mushrooms, like I've got quite a lot of mushrooms. Um and then I'd put some of these on as well. Um, some spinach and stuff so we can open the shop and like people can come and oops um, I'll put some in this fridge too because this is here for no reason otherwise because uh, I haven't got any flowers or anything so I'm going to put this on this fridge so people can come and like just buy um, some mushrooms whatever they want um, so I'm gone you can just open it like as usual so let's see. So if we set the store prices, they are at normal. So they've got a little bit, little bit of a markup on what they would be in your inventory. Um, I'll just leave them at normal for now, and hopefully, if I open the store, some people are going to want to come and like, what's she doing? Oh, okay, she's running over to somebody. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, it's just, a, it's just a celebrity. That's why. Just gone over to have a look. But if you go back to the all the way back to this farmer's market and open it up so like um where's she gone it takes a long time okay i doesn't look like much at the moment but i'm hoping to get it all like set up nice um this is like my one of my goals is to have this is like an outdoors farmer market i just think that um no items for sale oh i have to list them for sale i have to click on them to set for sale okay one sec that's gonna. That's that's. I've, I have only um, had a business in this game once, and it was a bake. Maybe a bakery. I think it was a bakery. Um, and I just didn't really like get what to do. Um, and it took like a long time for me to figure out how to get this to work. So it's been such a long time that that's why I can't remember how to do it. To be honest, I forgot that you had to mark them individually. Um, because obviously you can have things that are decorative and stuff and people can't just buy everything. I, I understand that. But like I just forgot it to be honest. <laughs> okay. So we can I think we can o like is I think we're open. Um yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So we, so we are open. Um I'm just going to carry on setting stuff for sale because like what people are looking. Um but like hopefully people will like that like to buy the fresh stuff because it's a little bit she's asking about bananas I think we don't have bananas this is a this is a spring stall I realize now that it's actually summer <laughs> and that well the crops we've got are actually spring crops but it is actually summer when I was saying I didn't know what um that what like it was if that makes sense uh so these are for fall and spring the mushrooms but like they're in the greenhouse and they still were growing when I just went and checked on them. Um, I haven't actually done any gardening since Seasons came out as well. Like, from my Let's Plays, you might be able to tell that, like, I don't spend that much time actually playing The Sims. A lot of it's more, like, building and that, and that sort of thing. So is there anybody I can do? Greet my customers. She isn't very well. Like I said, she's, like, sneezing and stuff. Um, I'm going to greet all the customers. Um... Hopefully somebody try, decides to buy something, because <laughs> that would be so disappointing if somebody didn't buy anything. Everyone's ill. I don't know whether it's, they've got it off me. I don't know whether she can pass on the chicken flu, but look, like everyone's come here and they're ill. Um, I'm trying to greet all the customers I can. I'm trying to make myself, like, to be friendly, you know, like a friendly, friendly person. Um... Retail answer questions. 
trying to like answer everyone's questions, but there's a lot of people here. I could do with the help, but to be honest, <laughs> I can't afford to hire one though. So, <laughs> and usually they're quick. They're a little bit useless. I don't really do that much. Um. Right. So, nobody is buying anything. Shall we? We can't set it because the store's open. But I'm chatting away and people are just talking so maybe that's what it is. I haven't sold anything. Um, everyone's just chatting. That's disappointing. Got no sales profit, no outgoing. There's no like outgoing costs, so that should be alright. Because obviously we're just outside. It's not like we're not running anything. Don't have to pay for the building to be to be run, you know. So that that's what I kind of thought when I thought about the farmers market. But we actually got a sale. Um, this little kid um, said that he wants to buy something. So I'm trying to ring him up, but she's just kind of standing there. I think it's because she's got this flu. So um, let's see. Oh, someone else is going to buy something too. It's so good. Okay, so the kids want to buy something, but I think this is not even going to be worth it. I may as well just sold it in my menu. <laughs> um, oh, okay, six dollars. Well, that's good actually because it said one dollar when I was trying to sell them. Um so we are making a little bit of a little bit of a a sales little bit of sales profit I suppose. Okay, so we actually ended up staying open all night <laughs> thirteen hours. She is literally about to die of tiredness. But um we got thirteen items sold, um so hundred and eleven simoleons, which is a lot more then it would have been just selling directly from the um, the menu because the this I think the mushroom sold for six uh, simoleons each instead of one, so that's like a lot better than um, it's been. I think we still need to ring her up actually because she's waiting. Uh, but yeah, she's she's very tired. Um, it's been a bit difficult to be honest. How long it's had to be open? Oh, she's gonna pass out. Oh dear. Okay. Oops, she's exhausted. Kind of annoyed because um, it's like we've I've been spending the time, you know, getting her stuff up, like her comfort and everything. Where's she going? Oh, she's going to play the horse. You think? Okay, yeah, I've been getting her stuff up, and that's been fine, you know. But then she's still got this chicken coop flu, which means that she's ill all day. But then I use the chicken coop, and now I'm going to get it again. Cause look, that's was, that's the start of it, and this is like uh, later on. So she's super super uncomfortable, which is a bit annoying because when I try and like do anything, it won't let me. So I'm gonna try and take it to the hospital and see if like, that can cure it. He's actually ended up at this bar because I was trying to use the internet, but um, this is bed night. I've never ever seen this before. Like, what on earth is going on? Why? <laughs> I just don't understand what's going on. Um, I don't even know, like, you can't even tell who's who. They just all got, like, they've all got bear costumes on. Um, which is a little bit little bit odd. But I just noticed that. I've never seen it before. Maybe we should go in and see what's going on. Is that her mother's there, actually? Uh, she can go and complain to her mother about her illness because um, I don't know how I'm going to fix it. Um, I'm going to have to make sure. I'm going to come out my game again. I'm going to have to take this out of the mod folder because I didn't realise that it would be like so invasive. As in, she's been ill for like two days um, at least. And then she's going to be ill again. Like, it's stacked it. So she's like starting early signs as well as already got having it. Um, which like, doesn't really make sense. But... Um, no sim likes being around deadly animals. She's getting annoyed by the bears. Okay. But like everyone's ill. I don't know whether she's passed on like this chicken coop flu. But like everyone that she comes into contact with is coughing as well. Everyone is ill. That's kind of kind of strange. Um, but it's nice to see her mother for a little bit because I mean she saw her, like they are they were very close like, and uh, they they've got quite a high. Um, I think they've got quite high, high relationships, so you yeah, have. So she is quite close to her mother, and it's nice to see her. She can't complain about her problems to her. I really, really wanted to do some like more fishing and stuff, um, but I can't actually do that because she's not comfortable. So I'm trying to work out how I can make her more comfortable, um, but she wants to sleep anyway. 
so that was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna have to finish the episode because um, for some reason it's like it's, the flu went away and then immediately it's come back and like I just I just can't deal with this in the game. I'm trying to like really like it's hard enough as it is you know without like um that going on so i'm gonna have to turn it off but like i'm gonna have to turn it, come out of my game and go back in so i'm just gonna like leave the episode here um like i said before if you enjoy these episodes of um the farming life then it, please let me know because um it's something different on my channel obviously like it's not an official like um sims pack is using mods and stuff and like obviously not everybody likes to use mods and i'm just curious to see what you guys think of it i always um i always appreciate like the comments that i get um and knowing like what you guys like to see um if you haven't seen any of the other episodes of the farming live series then they there is a playlist on my channel that you can start to watch um i might be going up with the amount of times i post this because of like just generally it's been one probably my most popular let's play and um, I might be doing it twice a week instead of once a week, um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what uh, kind of things like that I want to that I want to try for my channel. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know and subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of content. I do content from like a variety of different things, and I'm also going to be starting um, a Stardew Valley Let's Play and maybe a Planet Zoo Let's Play. So just yeah, just keep your eyes out for that if you like that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!